But also, I mean, we have to imagine that Ellie eats them and she just grabbed them off the toilet floor, which is... I mean, you know, I if 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 I have gangrene or anything like that, I would probably take them, but otherwise I would just say it's thank you but no toilet pills please. Not 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 today, not for me. Okay, welcome back to The Last of Us 2 and we've just uh, visited the hotel Saravina, which was abandoned, or well, well, not n not not literally abandoned. Um, just someone killed all the WLF that were stationed there, and we assume it's it's Tommy, um, Hellbent. And I just um, in the last episode gave a very preachy speech about how bad revenge is. So let's see. <laughs> Excuse me? No, Shimmer! No! No! Forget the no revenge speech, okay? We're, we're going all John Wick on these assholes. I mean, Shimmer? Ow. What? You're killing the Care Bears next? Huh? My little pony? Huh? Mabel from Gravity Falls? You monsters. Didn't oh, we I'd know him. See you again. Yeah. How'd you find us? I asked about a dude with a bitch scar across his face. Mm. It's fine. <laughs> How many came with you? Hmm? Just you two? You can't stop this. Jordan! You're supposed to be out looking for the other one. The fuck is this? You know the smuggler that we killed out in Jackson? Yeah. This girl was there. What? They're coming after us. That's why Nick was fucked up like that. We gotta get her to Isaac, and we gotta tell him exactly what's going on. Yeah, well, I just got off the radio with Isaac. And we got a new mandate. Kill all trespassers. Oh, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. That doesn't make any sense. Direct order, man. No, let's talk to her. Let's figure out what she knows. I, I don't give a fuck what she knows. You saw what she did to the others? You have no idea how many people she might be with. This might be an ambush, I don't care Mike. how many people she's with. We will find them, we will kill them. Can you just think for yourself for a quick second right now? Get the fuck no, Dina. Jesus. Come here. Dina. She even bleeds. That's such a great detail. Um, no, wait. Oh. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, that must be horrible. Are you okay? Mostly. Ellie. Ellie. We should go. Somebody would have heard the gunshots. Look. She's one of them. Come on. Look at that later. Was there a TV station on that map? I don't fucking know. Come on. Fuck, Ellie. Oh. Oh, 
not really good. <laughs> Um, is there anything else here except the bodies of two people? How many guys did you see? Oh. Enough. We gotta get the hell out of here. Oh. Oh, this is a nice detail. So, um, apparently the whole outbreak happened around Halloween, October, because you see a lot of um, Halloween stuff in the school building. And schools are really, like, they're not like I am. They, they clean out the shit after the event. <laughs> for me, <laughs> I still have Christmas decoration from, I think, two years ago in my flat. So yeah, yeah, that's, um, that's, that's that. Oh shit. No, I didn't want that. Oh. They got right here. Um Oh. Yeah, now they're trying to corner us. Well. Oh, oh no, no, no. No, no. I don't know. Oh. Shit. No. Shit. No. Um. Yeah. No. Oh. Okay. Mm. Oh. He's down. Okay. Woo. Um. Anyone else? to say god damn it oh, fuck oh mm -hmm. you good yeah you recognize any of these guys no oh it's kindergarten okay Anything to get here? So there's a lot of books missing. I wonder whether, I mean, because it's children's books, whether um, they're really into reading children's books or they use them as Kindle for fires and stuff like that. Because I think Naughty Dog really pays detail, uh, pays attention to these kind of details. Like they wouldn't just have that because it's less work. Um, actually, I think it's more work to create this this room with less books. Oh, Heidi Grass. Yeah. So honestly, I think Ellie should stay away from horses because this is the second time now that Ellie lost an amazing, beautiful, smart horse. And I'm getting angry at her because, you know, kill my horse once, shame on you, but kill my horse twice. And I gotta stop using horses. Like, you know, get a... 
Oh! Shit! Shit! Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh! God. That could have gone better. It did actually in my first playthrough, but yeah, we kind of established that um, I'm not that good this time around. Wasn't even a clicker. <laughs> hmm. Watching. I want everybody down here now. Green. Where do those shots come from? I don't know. Search the courtyard. You pull the cafeteria. I'll cover here. Right. Where's she? What? Where's the lady? <gasps> what? Oh my god, am I... Ugh. Brutal. Ellie, up there. Stars. Oh. I don't know. Shit. Spread out. Shit, 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 shit. No. Gavin.
Okay, that was a lot of me not talking, which uh, you're probably like, what? That that exists? That's possible. Oh, thank you, game. Probably added that, like seeing my <laughs> seeing my performance and going like, well, we thought you need this. Also, I could eat an apple. That would probably help. Yeah, why not? Um, okay. Okay, I have to. Uh, sorry, I'm so silent because or quiet rather because I'm kind of trying to uh, collect myself. <laughs> oh, but now I can't get the cloth. I'm sorry, this is boring. I might. Um, Oh, I also... Ha! Huh. Good. Well, thank god. I went back down. Because the way I play, I need every single bullet. I don't know. I don't know why you would go on a tour like this. Why you would think this is a good idea. Why you would think you have to do this. This is really just such a nightmare. Like, why? What kind of weird moral code slash honor system do you have to think that this is what you should do have a look here they won't come here oh fuck these wolves steal their yeah. shit Check over here. Um. You sure she's not uh, on the street? Did you look? How would she get down there? I don't know. It's been called in. Ambush! Over here! Oh! Ashley! Behind you! Behind you! Oh! Yeah, well, I have one as well. And whoop, there you go. Yeah. Oh no! 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 no I'm sorry. Oh. find out. I'm so sorry. I. Oh. Um. Like they added that naughty dog that sometimes when you um. <coughs> basically uh, shoot off limbs that they will slowly die and scream in agony because apparently that's what you do when you got like stuff shot off um, that shouldn't you know be missing from your body um, and that's really to drive home the point of you know killing is bad y'all um, but also it's <laughs> it's one of the reasons why I think this game is just um, very I get the point but I still question whether you had to make it this extreme um, that's the constant thing I have with the ultra violence in this game um, I mean I applaud it that you don't that you're not a hero that you're not like a Tarantino you know protagonist or whatever um, but I still question 
whether the accuracy and the realism was really necessary to drive home the point. I, th I like the, the details that, for example, the people will call out names if someone gets killed. Oh, wait. Um, from here on out, kill all trespassers. We'll send additional units to locate the other woman. The other woman? Oh, that was Dina. Yeah, because she uh, got away. Return to the FOB by EOD. Bring all avail available supplies. Oh, we also have another... Um, Leah's photograph. Mm -hmm. Leah's note. Jordan, Isaac's got us posted up on a two week at the TV station. Scar spotted in the area. Here's something to hold you over, Leah. Oh, they were together. Well, uh, I'm sorry to be the bringer of bad news, Leah. But I killed your boyfriend and I also apparently will come and kill you. So, yay. Um, so, yeah, I like the detail that the people, you call out names. So, you know, you, you get them personalized. And they also have um, conversations when they're not looking for you. Like when you, they're unaware, they have conversations. Just normal conversations. So you kind of even get to what know some this? of them. Let's try it. Which is, you know, to um, personalize these people, individualize them, so it makes it harder for you, or it rather not harder, I mean, you still kill them, but for you to think more about what you're doing here, that this is not just an endless array of anonymous enemies, but actual people with lives. We gotta get away from this school. Now. There has to be a way down to the street somewhere. I don't wanna meet the doggos. Except for petting. That's the only acceptable way to introduce dogs in video games. Just to pet them. To love them dearly. To tell them that they're all good boys and girls. Cat again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, can I get over this? Yes. Well, someone either worked from home or was a gamer. But probably worked from home because... Or was a PC gamer. But still, no. With that share, they worked from home. I think if you have such a display of, of desktops. And you're a gamer, you have a good chair as well. Okay, cardio. <laughs> uh, Pedro Hojas. <coughs> Pedro Hojas was a long distance runner who dreamed of winning but always came up short. When Spark offered him limitless stamina in exchange for using him as a test subject for the new below Titanium artificial hearts, he immediately accepted the deal and then escaped going into hiding. Now known as Cardio, he can run faster and farther than anyone alive. Pursued by Spark, they still want him back to finish the experiments. They just have to catch him first. Hero. So... I told you I will look for um, who who drew who draws these or who drew these cards and I found it and I had to look a little bit because you don't really find it on the internet on Google but rather on social media. Um, so Twitter is your friend because um, Paul Reinwand is the um, designer for the cards so he he drew the cards he drew the the people um, the heroes and the villains. And um, the stories were actually like collected from Naughty Dog people mainly. And Josh Schur, because that's he tweeted about it, and that's how I found out who drew the cards and also who was involved in this. Um, he wrote the text for them and thanked everyone at Naughty Dog who kind of pitched in ideas. So it was kind of a team effort and probably really fun. At least that's what he says, and I believe him. And I still want to believe that these cards, at least, were not part of the crunch. Also, I found an article that was quite um, interesting because I didn't see it. But Dr. Uckman. And I, <laughs> I mean, now that I know, I'm like, oh, duh. Dr. Uckman is like Dr. Acula. Um, if you 
abbreviate the doctor, it's Druckmann, and then it's Neil Druckmann, the one of the like the influences on the on the the Last of Us. I mean, he's the maker, um, director, producer. I don't know how you call it. There's probably an actual title, but I just forgot it. And it's about his text. Everyone thought because he's pushing human limits. Um, and everything thought it would be like a hint at the crunch critic um, but some other people say it's most likely because he's really into sports he's one of those people that get a real or is really into health and sports and um, so it's a more um, it's a less self-reflecting <laughs> little joke although I would have liked the one when it would, would have actually addressed the crunch and and uh, yeah But yeah, the the once a well-respected researcher, Dr. Uckmans, I, I read it again because now you know it's about Neil Druckmann. Um, questionable experiments in the realm of pushing human limits saw him ostracized for, from the scientific community. Even the morally compromised Laurent Foucault of Spark Laboratories found his work dubious. Undeterred, Uckmann continued his work on secret creating super AI to do his bidding and protect his research while he and the new dog stage high-tech heists to fund it all. Constantly moving his lab location so no one can find him, he longs for the day where subjects will be treated as equals. So yeah, that's kind of fun, isn't it? And if you look at it, yeah, he looks like Neil Druckmann. Um, I will post the article where I found this because I thought you know the the writer should be acknowledged I also will post in the in the YouTube video liners um, the Twitter accounts from Paul Reinwand the trading card um, designer uh, artist and from Josh Schur who apparently wrote a lot of them if not all I couldn't find out through the tweet maybe I will ask him <sighs> always like always too much cloth Never too much alcohol. That would make a really bad punk song, by the way. So, uh, did I find everything here? Yeah. Business information. I was right. It's it's a workstation because of the chair. Because gamers have better chairs. I don't. I still have a shitty chair. But I'll see how this goes with the whole let's play thingy. And maybe I will get a good chair. I found some that are pink. <laughs> I usually am not the pink person, but I kind of like colors, so that looked nice. We need to get to the street. Because most of the gaming chairs are really kind of depressing, like aimed at people who like black and green or blue. But the pink one was really that was nice. Also, my little tip for any one who plays this game like fill up your weapons reload them if you can if you have like spare time if you're not in a battle mm. yeah no maybe I should use those weirdo smoke bombs more because I was not very good at this fight Oh, I think I can now craft another yeah and then I can get the cloth it, it's super boring isn't it that I always are like oh I don't have enough alcohol and then I find alcohol and then I return like to the far corners of the earth to get the cloth <laughs> maybe I can do a super cut a get the cloth super cut The most boring supercut of the attack. I wondered because for The Last of Us 1, I did a few. Uh, what was it? Where's the cloth? Did I already pick it? Did I pick it and not notice it? Oh, here. Um, for the first game, I did a few supercuts, uh, mainly roasting Joel and. Um, the giraffes I saw through my adventures and maybe I will d do one for this game but this is so th the mood is so bitter <laughs> all right coast looks clear yeah I think we're good all right Take oh I just back. read this Ellie you don't have to
she's one of them. Mm. Well, fuck her then. Read the letter. Jordan. Isaac's got us posted up on a two-week at the TV station. Scars spotted in the area. Here's something to hold you over, Leah. TV station. You think she's still there? We gotta find out, right? So, spy all these tall buildings. That way. Go get Leah. It's always, oh look, it's in the far distance. Look over there. It's never, oh, it's right here where we're standing. But that's the rule of video games, I guess. Because in real life, I mean, come on. At some point, you're probably just stumbling upon something that's just right there. You good? Yeah. I thought I was fucked back there. Uh -huh. You were, actually. You, you Thanks died. for the save, by the way. Of course. So, those are the wolves. They're really armed. Yeah, they are. Do you think there were gonna be this many of them? Tommy said this was a possibility. There. Does that change anything for you? Around October. No? The outbreak happened in Seattle. Most likely. Keep an eye out for patrols. There were a bunch trying to smoke me out around here. How many? I passed two, but I got a feeling there were more. And once they realize we're out of the school yeah. and that we killed their fucking right. friends, they'll be out in force looking for right. us. I can't believe they just attacked like that. These people are not like us. <laughs> what if we've been refugees? What if we, I don't know, had intel they needed? It doesn't seem like they care about that. I wonder if there's anything left in these buildings. There's always something left behind. Ellie, have you seen the Saravina Hotel? Have you seen the bodies? I mean, come on. Come on. Kinnard Esquire. A brilliant lawyer with a stringent adherence to the rule of law, Kinnard Georgie to her friends is the best known defense lawyer for heroes who are accused of negligence, excessive force, destruction of property and reckless endangerment. Her notoriety has brought her a fair share of unwanted attention, but between her black belt and Aikido and having the entire society of champions on speed dial, most are wise enough to let her pursue justice undisturbed. This is so funny. She's she's just a lawyer. But she's a human rights lawyer, so that's cool. I'm laughing also because I've just watched the Crazy Ex-Girlfriend um episode with the song Don't Don't Be a Lawyer, which is a really catchy tune. <clears throat> and the part about, you know, working with like um civil rights or immigration is like no, no money, no money. And with immigration, it was also no, no money, and it's a bummer because it's all sad. <laughs> so, yeah, that's fun. Oh, but now I'd completely lost orientation. Uh. Oh. Dina. Mm. Fresh blood. I'm ready. Okay. I mean, that's probably an infect. Oof. Is that in WLF? Whoa! Whoa! He's super Got fresh. It? Yeah. Shit. Oh. Oh, my heart's racing. Same. 
I also looked up, um, hmm. I also looked up, um, because what I think is, is really interesting, I mean, Ellie, Joel and Tommy, I think are basically completely made up characters, which is astounding because they look like real people. And when I played this game through the first time, I, I wondered a lot about what that means for video games if they start to resemble real people but are not re like they're n not based on any face. But Dina is based on a real person's face, um, and that person is really cool. It's Casina Caradona who has done also a few vi videos and who is adorable. Um, and what I found in those videos, and I am absolutely appalled, that people were like, well, Dina is not attractive. Are you fucking kidding me? She's gorgeous. Who the hell are you? Like, you're one of those three out of ten guys. I mean, ugh, honestly. Okay, short break to read this. I'm bit. Tina's dead. We've been getting drunk on our patrols for a while. This was such a shit post. No infected, no scars, far from everything. Her brother makes moonshine, so we drink and talk. Went that way for months. We were stumbling around the grocery store when these runner surprises. Oops. Let her brother know I'm sorry. I tried to save her. Tell my mom I love her. Chevy. Yeah, I said they were really fresh, fresh off the, off the chew. Um, don't get drunk. In the, uh, the like, you can you know. That's, I mean, Joel, Joel had his coffee, that's good. Have something, you know, like chocolate or whatever that doesn't kill you. Because everything that slows down your reflexes is a bad idea in this, in this world. So yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I am absolutely, like, it's one thing to say, well, she's not my type, you know? But objectively, video game Dina as well as Casina are just absolutely gorgeous people. Um, and I don't get it why, why, I mean, what kind of beauty standards, like what boring beauty standards do you have that you don't think that th these are beautiful, that this is not a beautiful face? I'm, I can't, I really, I can't. Is there anything here? Why is this here? Hmm. What's with the music? Why is it so brooding? Something keeps bugging me. Why didn't they kill you and Tommy when they had the chance? Because they're nice. I don't know. It seems reckless. That's... Maybe they're dumb. Maybe. I don't think it's reckless. What? Could be that you just weren't who they were looking for. So they let you go. Yeah, well, they did beat the shit out of us. The one guy Jordan kicked my face in. Yeah, but why do you think that they didn't... 
finish it the... doesn't matter they fucked up they did but it does matter because they probably didn't kill them didn't they even say she she's not part of this what was the name of the girl in the note the one in the tv station leah was she the one uh, she the one with the break no. Oh, I was in here. Only thing I remember about her was the sound of her crying over that sadistic fuck's face when I sliced him open. So, how do you want to handle her? Find out what she knows. Find out where the others are. Go from there. You gonna ask her why they did it? Yeah. <sighs> they wanted Joel. No one else. They recognized him. Like Abby, th she recognized him, hey, didn't check she? This out. Seattle traded one shitty ruler for another. All WF soldier instructions must be followed. Federal collaborators will be executed. Permission required for leaving a signed zone. Curfew will stay in effect until further notice. Yeah, they said, you know, we're getting rid of the fascists of the military, and it's basically the How same. What do you think this is? At least a few years. They probably put it up right after everything went down with the military. It must have been scary for all these people. First the outbreak, then Fedra, then the uh -huh. wolves. I wonder how many stuck around and joined these WLF fuckers. Good question. I mean, what are you doing with that? Probably a lot, because otherwise you're getting killed. Any of this? Jogging memories of stuff Joel said about his past. Nothing new. What are the chances he did stuff that you don't know about? Yeah. I, he wasn't, um, wasn't very big on sharing. <laughs> you probably know more about all the people Joel crossed. Mm. Viv, we were robbed last night. It was Jimmy. I hope he acted alone. If you guys are in a rough spot, you can talk to me. I care for you and your son. Now more than ever, we need to be looking out for each other. There are enough criminals running the city. Oh, flip. Flippity flip. Add a little salt and some water to these and it almost tastes like the real thing. It's not much, but hopefully it'll help. Get you to the next drop-off at least. Raul. Hmm. Oh, so they got food, and the neighbor's son maybe stole it. Water and salt taste like the real thing. I have no idea what that could have been. Ramen noodles? The fuck is this? Some kind of bomb. Yeah! Oh, but I'm not very good at those because huh. I have to... Nice craftsmanship. <laughs> I have to put them on the floor. Like, I can't throw them. Also, I'm just not getting shotgun ammo. What is this? People. Yeah, why not? Um... Okay. I like that they actually have like pills now, just random pills and not only like in the first game they had um, those pill containers and now they have also loose pills. I mean not that I have loose pills lying around because you know of safety reasons. I have cats, I don't you know want that. But I get that people would have those. Was it worth it? Yeah, pretty good haul. Was it worth it? Let me work it. Put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it.
But also, I mean, we have to imagine that Ellie eats them and she just grabbed them off the toilet floor, which is... I mean, you know, I... If... If, if I have gangrene or anything like that I would probably take them but otherwise I would just say it's thank you but no toilet pills please not 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 today not for me um, I probably can jump down here but maybe I missed a room I think I can go around the back and get into one of those boarded up rooms. I will try. Because I'm so bad at this game, I need to collect everything that I can collect. Like I need to be prepared to to miss a lot more <laughs> with my bullets. Mm. There. There you go. Is there um Rockefeller. <laughs> because he's a fella who looks like a rock. Get it? Real estate and construction magnate Norman Stryker's crowning achievement was the Spark headquarters. Both the part visible to the world and the massive subterranean laboratory complex. Sorry for mumbling. That's when I don't know how to pronounce a thing. But when he walked in on a secret experiment, Lauren Foucault tried to dispose of him in a quarry explosion. When the Society of Champions couldn't pull Stryker out of the rocks, Dr. Stem made the rocks a part of Stryker. <laughs> now covered head to toe in rock armor, Rockefeller aims to tear the Spark headquarters down brick by brick, and he knows the place better than anyone. You know what would have been an awesome hero? When the Society of Champions couldn't pull Stryker out of the cat pile, Dr. Stem made the cat pile a part of Stryker. You know, like you're just a pile of cats. That's your entire... Um, Superhero personality. That would be amazing. Naughty Dog really could have done something like letting... Oh, I guess I was here. Because, yeah. Dina came from that direction. Um, Naughty Dog could have made this like a fan thing. That you could... You know, that they had the random question. If you could make up a, a funny superhero name, what would it be? And then people could have been, you know, part of this... That would have been cool. I can still kind of see the buildings. How do you want to go? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Can I look in the? No, I can't look at the map. Yeah, this is one of those semi-open areas where you, I think, can miss a lot. And that's why this is not the most riveting section. But again, I don't want to miss like any collectibles, especially notes. Um, I like the playing cards, but I enjoy the notes much more. And I really don't want to... I don't want to miss a thing, you know? <clears throat> Can I go up there? It feels like I could go up there, but... There's nothing around, and I don't think that they want me to chuck- oh! 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 I'm quiet because I want you to read like the discussion that they're having. They're looking for us, but they're also talking about food poisoning. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know why I robbed to this and then... Dina, you're so loud. Like, I love you, babe, but come on, calm down a little. Mm. It annoys me because I was kind of super smooth the first time around. Like, I was really neat and, um, like, stealthy. But I stumble into these situations just bumbling my way through the game. Okay, so there's someone. Um, and inside of there, there's also someone. Love you. Okay. So I guess we have to find a way to take out the guy on the top first. And then the rest. Oh, but this will be hard. Oh, there's two people. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. no. Whoa. See me? No. I wonder if the lady now sees me when I grab him. Relax. Just okay. Relax. I think it's horrible. That we're doing this. But also I'm so bad at stealthing that I, I probably couldn't survive these sections <laughs> without killing everyone. I'm sorry. Okay, so there's one person. But weren't there two? It's nearly an hour. I it feels like I didn't do anything this this playthrough, like this episode. Any left? I mean, maybe. I don't think so. Okay. Good. Shit. Yeah. You recognize any of them? None. Uh, I yeah. mean, Excuse me. yeah. But. It's pretty massive. You think the wolves are spread out all over it? Probably. I sure hope not. I mean, if they're still infected around, they have to be spread out just to make sure that there's not more. That the infected don't spread. And then come to close. And especially because the um, later iterations of infected are so much more dangerous. You really have to clear house um, all the time. Oh. Toys. Oh, that's like back in the store with Riley. Anything in here? Just Halloween stuff. Some of this stuff is funny looking. I'm not a fan. Oh, she was, but now she's not because of, um, yeah, because of losing Riley. He's oh, <laughs> awkward. Wait, oh, wait a minute. Go, look at that. That's an Uncharted costume. Yeah, would be nice, Naughty Dog. But we know, oh my god, it's Doggo Halloween pet costumes. Okay, if I had the choice, I mean, a pirate is pretty good. 
Captain Pop. Dog Watson. And is that a little bat? Oh, it's a fluffy bat. Um, I think a dog with a pipe is something to just get really excited about. Not a real pipe. Please don't let dogs uh, smoke. Yeah, that's that's a nice little, you know. Is it an Easter egg? I don't know. Like the 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 Nathan Drake Magna C blah 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 ring. That's a nice little Easter egg, but I don't know whether this is. Okay. So this is where I was when I saw these guys and gals. Um. So I probably have to go this way. This is such a large area. This way. Which way? I... What? <laughs> <laughs> but I wanna... I wanna see what's down here. Maybe I'm missing something. Also, we could totally get over here. Oh, what's this? No, it's too high. Ooh, there's more dudes. No, Ellie, I just wanted to crouch. I will go this way. I want to see what's up there. Probably more people. Um. Oh no no no! Okay, sorry. I just um. <laughs> Mess a little up from the recording, but you didn't miss much. So she thinks traitors are the worst, and he thinks, yeah, whatever. If they don't want to be there, then they don't want to be there. And you know, fair, f fair game, I guess, because you can't force people to be part of a fascist movement. I mean, fascist movements basically force people to be part of them, but. Uh, <laughs> That doesn't hold long. If you're lucky. I keep getting this kind of ammo. But no... Oh, Ellie, don't... <sighs> Oh, three people. That's a lot. Oh, four. Oh, five. No. Oh, it's so many. All right. I'll put a word in for you. No. I will not survive this. Shoot. Get the information and be done with it. Don't get carried away. see me I hear that it's no I wanted to run oh okay um
They went that way. The fuck are they? Fan out. Search the area. They can't have gone far. Don't fan out. I wanna. Mm -mm. I want my bow. <laughs> I miss it so much. Like so far, I have nothing at all to be silent. Except, you know, just normal stealth, and I'm so bad at it. <laughs> it's so many. I will probably cut a lot, a huge chunk of this out because it's boring as hell. I should just start, start, start shooting. Just not, you know, bother. Infected? What? Wow. Strike one infected. Anyone see them? Damn it. Where the fuck did they go? I don't see them. I found them in those trees. And those trees? Do you know what trees are? Because this is not a tree, this is grass. Get them from the side! Yeah. Trees is the, the big Stop. stuff. <laughs> is that it? Dina, you seem so relaxed. So that was probably it. Oh, okay, that was interesting. Is there something to pick up? No. I mean, that was interesting for me. I don't know how interesting that was for you. It, f it feels like it wasn't very interesting for you. But now I can just, you know, casually look at everything. Special cola. I don't know why you would ever... Um, use special for something to eat or consume because it always sounds like it's it's not a good thing it's not a good special like special sauce like what's in the sauce you know like those special meat surprises that apparently were very common in um, american uh school food Okay, damage, yes. Yes, please. And fire rate, because that, if I ever get more shotgun ammo, then this will help me. Because the last time I tried to fire two shots, it was really took quite a while and I got really hurt. Hi Dina, you okay? Looking at the stuff? Looking at some more stuff? Yeah. So it's it's quite logical that the WLF would um, basically be everywhere. <sighs> I'm always scared that I open a door and there's an infected like just lunching at me. Also, can I smash some windows to get some ew? That milk probably stings. Ew. Oh, also those eggs. Don't eat the eggs. Okay. Anything here? No. Because you can smash the windows and sometimes something nice is there. That sounds weird. Like, why did I say it that way? <laughs> ah! Yay! Yay! 
Yay! It's the pride flag, by the way. I mean, who doesn't know the pride flag? But just in case. I mean, I don't want to laugh at people that just don't know. Um, everyone starts with something. What's with all the windows? Uh huh. Yeah. See what you can find around here. Well, I guess I know what what's with all the rainbows. This is probably um a queer bookshop. It's us, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh yeah. Is Helga ready to know the secrets of the coveted sorority? For Helga, the most important part of college was pledging to Omega Theta Phi, just as her mother had twenty years earlier. I was going to open every door for her and introduce her to a world of men who would give her the glamorous life of her dreams. Helga had legs for days and a smile that twinkled. Every fraternity man vied to take her out Friday nights, but none of them could fulfill her needs, and she came back to the house still craving. Fortunately, there was her sisterhood. At the sorority house, Helga found not just satisfaction, but an education in the hands of her big sister, Beth. She knew what a woman's body wanted better than any man. In the showers, cuddled up in a twin bed, the women discovered a world of pleasure. This is the door Helga never knew she needed opened. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Stay focused. Why yeah. not? All this stuff has women on it. Well, some of it has men on nope. it. Wait, dudes. Two dudes. <laughs> Dina, supplies. You know, actually, Ellie owes it to Bill to... Why is there a body of a WLF that looks healthy? Um, Ellie owes it to Bill. Like, she should get a stack of those dude books and just send it to him. Or bring it to him. Can't really send it anymore. Unless Kevin Costner survived this the outbreak or unless the postman is actually part of the the last of us um, world building then maybe in case people younger than 200 years old don't get what i'm s talking about the postman was <laughs> a very <laughs> a very trashy movie with kevin costner um about a post-apocalyptic world where Kevin Costner is literally the postman. Oh. A Dr. Stem. Upa Roy. Losing both of her parents to cancer at a young age, Upa Roy threw herself into her science studies, determined to never let anyone experience the pain and loss she felt as a child. Now known as Dr. Stem, she collaborates with doctors and scientists around the world on life-saving and life-enhancing technologies. She also works with the Society of Champions to shut down Sparks' more nefarious schemes with technology of her own. Her tenacity and refusal to accept defeat is both her biggest strength and greatest source of torment. Hero. So yeah, oh, cool. Um... The Postman, yeah, it's a post-apocalyptic story and... Kevin Costner is the postman. Um, why was there a body? Fran, it's happening. Early Sunday morning. Keep your people off the streets, but careful what you say. If Isaac finds out I talked, I'm fucked. Whole thing should be quick. Not a lot of federal left in your neighborhood. Oh my god, they're cleaning. That's fascist movement. As we clear neighborhoods, we're moving everyone to the base. People shouldn't freak. It's temporary. Helps us keep track of good guys versus bad guys. Can't wait to sleep in the same bed with you again. No more sneaking notes in that stupid studio. Rebecca. Uh, I hope they made it. These WLF guys went up against the military over a decade ago. Why are they still so amped? 
can't be that many trespassers that come through here. Tabletop games, by the way. The city still looks like it's filled with supplies. I can't see why people would need to fight over it. This looks... I would have loved this um, shop combination. I mean, not that I'm into erotic novels. Not that that's anything bad to be into. Um, sorry for wandering around like this, but this is... I keep it realistic because obviously that's what I would do because I don't know which direction to go. Um, and I don't want to miss an Aerosmith song. Um... It's not even one of my favorite Aerosmith songs, to be quite honest. Oh, one? <laughs> I will cherish it forever. I will put it in a glass case and never use it. News channel. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think... Since we have to go this way, um, I will go down and then to the right and see what's there. And then slowly, no, oh, Ellie, slowly work my way up to, to this direction. Like, we could have jumped somehow over there, maybe. I mean, not we, like, I couldn't. But these two gals are so sporty. And they jump from terrifying heights and don't break anything, so they totally could have could have done that. Public um, transport must be a very weird concept for Ellie and Dina, who never knew such a thing. Who? <laughs> Maybe I can use that to get these guys into trouble. And gals, sorry. Where are they though? Oh. Yeah, like this. So, was that a good idea or not? We will we will see only time will tell. What I don't get, like they're Heidi holy up there and they didn't clear this out. Like why wouldn't they? It seems so foolish. I mean, if this is kind of a base for you and they were like standing at the door, like it was some sort of base, I don't get it. So, since they're so casually walking around, I guess the infected are gone now. And I can at least. Look at this. Sweeten the day. No f sweets left organic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is totally the hipster. Like the, the gay, amazing hipster neighborhood where you can get all the books, all the cool stuff, where all the cool shows happen. And where the supermarket is actually, you know, stocked with cool stuff and not just trashy fast food. 
Nothing against trashy fast food, though. Oh. Sergeant Frost. Oh, he looks like a douche. Is he a villain? He's a hero, okay. Once an ordinary soldier, Sergeant Edward Frost found himself the unwilling subject of a spark experiment. Infused with a mix of liquid nitrogen and radioactive material, he was left for dead by the scientists. But the cold put him in a state of suspended animation, allowing him to escape. Now known to the world as Sergeant Frost, he uses his cryogenic powers to aid the sight of champions and seek justice against Spark Hero. I don't know, anyone is willingly... Like, calling themselves Sergeant Frost? Doesn't feel like a hero. Hmm, okay, I will... Oh, I'm full up with health. Okay. Hmm... The um, sending infected after enemies is uh, also, it's taken from, thank you, uh, from the DLC, they introduced that concept there. Yeah, probably like painkillers for migraine. Like if you work at the, as a cashier at a, an organic supermarket, you will deal with some of the most obnoxious people in the existence of humanity. It's unbelievable how rude, especially elderly women that buy, and mothers also, like rich mothers, <laughs> that buy organic, like how rude they can be to um, people that work in the service industry. So obviously, you know, there are a lot of pills next to the <laughs> to the cash register. Mm. Is there someone here? No. I think when I first played this through, I had quite a lot of shotgun ammo, so th this section wasn't that much of a big problem because I think I was really gung-ho with this. But this time around, I have actually to be careful. Dina, did you just shove me out of the way and into the doorway where it can be seen? Are you kidding me, Dina? What is he doing there? Okay, well, aren't you a big man? I thought he would walk in here and kind of do a thing or whatever. Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. I never know whether it's the person I'm seeing or whether it's someone directly behind me. Like, that feature is very well made. No. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I think now I can- Oh! Oh. Okay, obviously someone could have seen me there. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't see them. I mean, that's, it's such, it's, it's an, it's neat. Like, it's super boring for you right now, but it's super neat that they do this whole, with the noise, because I think it's, it's basically, you know, when you have a weird feeling about something. Like, when someone watches you, and you don't see them, but you kind of feel it, that sixth sense. Um, and also because it's not directed at s something so you just hear the noise but you don't know from w like from which direction someone sees you that adds to the tension I think I could get her but oh that's one of those weird like 
happy birthday stores for people that don't know what to get as a gift because they don't know the person too well. It's like the... Back when I was younger, candles were the kind of gift you gave to people you didn't know that well, but you wanted to be like, well, it's your birthday, I guess, here. Get this. And it was always candles, and you could get them in these kind of stores. Have I been in here? No. Oh, there's someone, but I have my my shooty shoot. My shooty shoot. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. So when I'm done with this one, um, I will end the episode and I will probably cut it um, because there are a lot of long, boring waiting parts where even what I'm saying isn't very, is, is even less interesting than, oh, whoa, whoa, what? Ellie, don't be so cocky. So I will probably cut quite a few things. So there should be a guy here who always comes down to that window and looks out. Oh, there he is. I hope there's no one in the back to surprise me when he comes here. Like those noises, I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of interested how they made those noises. Um, and it's less like a morbid cu curiosity, but just how you achieve, um, because it's probably something, like I watched quite a few um, documentaries, but also there's a movie about this kind of stuff. And oh, Dina, you were in the way. I should have just. It would. I would love to have a prompt that's like, go out of my way, Dina. That would be amazing. And they usually do those gory stuff with a lot of fruit, um, like watermelon and stuff like that. So it would be interesting to know what they used. Is there someone here? Okay, maybe I can go back to that window that Dina occupied the last time. And then wait till they circled back. And do this. Is that it? Oh no, that wasn't it, apparently. Where? Um, I would if I, oh, there. I mean, I shot him in the face. How is he still like, you better start running. Dude, you better start running. Because I shot you in the face. Just take a break. There a way out of here. No, I first want to loot. I promise you, I will. <laughs> if I, I mean, hey, in editing, if I, if I think it's too boring, I will cut it out. Maybe here. Oh, okay.
Tina, you're very often, very much in my way. And I know you just want to be close to your girlfriend, but sometimes, you know, I just need space. Oh, this is where all the ammo is. Why would they have that lying around? Like, wouldn't it be more practical to have it on your person? Also, just two bullets. Like, that's such an odd thing to have lying around. Like, two bullets? Okay. Now we'll also loot the corpses because I am a monster. Next scene. Whenever you have a, like a fall like this, a jump like this, then it's like, okay, this is the next section. And with okay. this... We got to the other side of the checkpoint. Yeah. Now what? Well, maybe this, that gets... Um, but I will not do this right now. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't want to load into a weird hey, place, Tina. so I just yeah. do this. <laughs> Give me your hand. Gladly. Are you asking for my hand, Dina? <laughs> hey, that round building. It looks like the TV station from your map. Yeah. Come on. Woo! I don't know how okay. I would have done all this without you. Look at you. Shut up. <laughs> I never would have let you do this by yourself. I'm glad I'm here too. No, I wanted to kiss. Oh, that would oh, that would have been so cool to have like a little mwah, peck on the cheek. Like why would you jump out of my now you jump out of my way, by the way. You know, now, now, now you beautiful beautiful love of mine so okay i um finished this episode here i hope you had fun i know <laughs> look if you want to watch a really cool playthrough um by someone who knows how to navigate i rather recommend um gaps motors who's really good at that um you get all the failure and the hopefully fun enough commentary in my let's play um not that gaps motors is not fun um you get the weird commentary from me yeah that's better um yeah we'll see whether we get to the tv station next episode i'm really sorry it feels like this area took a long time but also i wanted to discover everything um especially cards and notes because it is world building and the notes in the last of us are actually quite 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 well um designed with how they bring you closer to the world so yeah i hope you had fun if you like this video like this video <laughs> you can also subscribe uh you can comment please be nice i'm fresh i'm new i'm very sensitive i'm a soft i'm a soft little girl um i'm a little woman i'm a little woman but yeah i'm a soft little woman anyways um have a nice day take care bye